Wondering what is a Canva brand kit and how to customize a Canva Pro brand kit? In this Canva tutorial, you'll learn how to use Canva to create a Canva brand kit template. So let me show you how to do a Canva brand kit setup, which is one of my favorite Canva tips and tricks. First off, if you don't have a Canva account yet, just click on the link in the description box below to sign up for free. A Canva brand kit is a Canva Pro feature, which allows you to preset your brand's fonts, colors, and logo for a unified look across all designs. You can now create up to 100 brand kits from the same Canva account. If you're a Canva Pro user, you can customize your Canva brand kit from your Canva's homepage, and then by clicking on Brand Kit from the left-hand side panel. The brand kit that just opened up is my yes to text brand kit. To add a new brand kit in Canva, click on the Add Brand Kit button on the right-hand side. Name your brand kit, such as Sample Canva Brand Kit, and then click on Create. There are a number of things you can add to your brand kit in Canva, including your brand logos, brand colors, and brand fonts. So let's go ahead and customize this Canva Pro brand kit. To add a brand logo, click on the plus sign below that header, locate your brand logo from your files, and then click on Open. If you don't have a logo yet, make sure you check out my Create a Logo Online playlist, which includes step-by-step -step tutorials on how to create a logo, even if you're not design savvy. If you wish to make changes to this brand logo, hover your mouse over it and click on the three little dots on the top right-hand side to get the logo colors, download your logo, or delete it. You may have noticed that once I uploaded a brand logo to this brand kit, Canva automatically extracted the colors from this logo and added them to my brand colors. You can either keep them or remove them. Even if you do decide to keep these brand colors in your Canva brand kit, you can click on the plus sign under where it says Untitled Palette to add a new brand color palette. You can either drag your cursor around the color picker and then around the color box to select a brand color to add to your brand kit or add the hex code at the bottom. For each color palette you add to your brand kit, you can rename it, hover your mouse over a particular color, and click on the X that appears on the top right-hand side to delete it, or click on the three little dots on the top right-hand side of a color palette to reorder them if you have more than one, move to another brand kit, or delete the palette. If you're searching for color palette ideas to add to your Canva brand kit, click on Add and Discover Palettes at the bottom. Canva has a number of pre-made custom palettes that you can choose from, and you can even search for a particular term in the search bar up top, such as blue or pastel, for Canva to create a custom color palette for you based on that term. To add any of these color palettes to your Canva brand kit, just click on it. The other thing we can do to customize a Canva Pro brand kit is add our brand fonts. You can add and customize your heading, subheading, and body style. To edit any one of those, just click on it and choose a font, size, and additional style such as bold or italic if you so wish. Repeat the same process until all of your brand font styles are customized in your Canva brand kit. Your brand kit in Canva is also where you can add custom fonts. 
For more details on how to use this feature, make sure to watch my videos on how to import new fonts on Canva and on how to add a font in Canva on your phone. I'll leave the links to them in the description box below. Once you're done customizing a Canva Pro brand kit, it's super easy to access these branding features from your designs. Let's click on Recommended for You on the left-hand side panel and then select a Canva template, such as an Instagram post, so that I can show you how to do that. To access your brand logos, click on Logos from the left-hand side panel, make sure that the appropriate brand kit is selected up top, and then you'll see the logo or logos you just uploaded to your Canva brand kit. To access your brand colors, click on Elements from the left-hand side panel, and then on an element which can be customized, such as a square. Click on the color picker from the white panel up top, make sure that the appropriate brand kit is selected, and from there, you can pick any of your brand colors from your Canva brand kit to easily customize the elements you added to your Canva design. To access your brand fonts, click on Text from the left-hand side panel, make sure that the appropriate brand kit is selected, and then when adding a heading, subheading, or body text to your Canva design, those will already be in the brand font and style that you set in your Canva brand kit. If you wish to delete an entire Canva brand kit, head back to your Canva homepage, Click on Brand Kit from the left-hand side panel, hover your mouse over the appropriate brand kit, click on the three little dots on the bottom right-hand side, and then on Delete. A pop-up will appear asking whether you're sure you want to delete this Canva brand kit. If you're sure, go ahead and click on Delete Brand Kit. If you're serious about learning how to customize a Canva Pro brand kit, Make sure you check out our Canva Tutorials playlist for even more Canva tips and tricks, as well as our free cheat sheet with brilliant tools that you should use below this video to learn more about how to save time and boost your productivity in your online business. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'll be upgrading to Canva Pro to add a brand kit to your Canva account. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can navigate the tech side of online business with ease. And stay tuned for our next video, which is about how to schedule Instagram posts with Canva. As you wait for our next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.